There are a few things that are more frustrating than slow Wi-Fi, but what can you do about it? Well, a couple of things actually. Let's run through some tips that might help speed things up. Your home's Wi-Fi speeds will always drop off at range when you're connecting at a distance, but there are other things that can slow your connection down as well, including network interference and issues with your internet provider. In this video, we're gonna go through some of the basic steps that you can try to counteract those slowdowns and get the most out of your home's connection. First things first, and it probably goes without saying, but turn your router off and turn it back on again. Some models come with a physical switch for this exact purpose, but if you have to unplug the thing, that's fine too. If your router is connected to a separate modem, you should go ahead and reboot that as well. A lot of times, a quick reboot is really all you need to fix some of the common temporary issues that can slow down your home's connection. That said, if you find yourself needing to reboot your router day in and day out, then it's probably worth calling your internet service provider to see if something is amiss. Okay, so you rebooted the router and things still seem a little bit slow. It's a good idea at this point to make sure that it isn't a problem with your device as opposed to a problem with your entire network. And the best way to check for that is to grab a second device that's on your network, like your phone, and run some additional tests, check things out, look for issues, see if it's affecting everything and not just that one device. A good speed test like the Ookla speed test or fast.com can really come in handy here. Run the same test on each device in the same room and you'll get a good numerical sense of how your speeds are looking. If both results seem slower than they should be, then it might be time to try making some tweaks to your network. Tweak number one, consider moving your router. Your best bet is to pick a central location in your home with the router placed up as high as you can because the radio signals that Wi-Fi routers put out tend to spread outwards and downwards. And please, please resist the temptation to stash your router away in a drawer or a closet somewhere. If you do that, then the physical obstructions surrounding it are gonna cause all sorts of problems and cripple its performance. Tweak number two. If your router comes with external antennas that you can adjust at different angles, try adjusting them. Antennas like these typically put out a Wi-Fi signal in all directions at a perpendicular angle. That means that an upright vertical antenna is usually best for connecting on the same floor. But if you're trying to connect upstairs or in the basement, going with an antenna that's horizontal might be the better play. Experiment with a different mix of angles and you might be able to boost speeds in different parts of your house. Tweak number three, try changing your router's channel. Each band of Wi-Fi is divided into different channels, sort of like the different TV channels you can tune to over broadcast airwaves. Most routers will automatically pick the channel that they think is the best for your connection, but if your neighbor's router is using the same channel, then your devices might be interfering with each other and slowing everything down. To try a different channel, check the settings in your router's app or log into the router's settings in your computer by entering its IP address into the browser's URL bar. To find that IP address, go to your computer's network settings and look for an IPv4 DNS server address. If you've tried all the tweaks I've talked about here and you're still underwhelmed with your home's connection, then it might be time to consider upgrading some of the hardware in your home network. A good mesh router uses multiple devices in multiple parts of your home to spread a stronger signal from room to room. And that's really the first upgrade I'd recommend for most homes. But you could also give your router a boost with a range extender or something like a power line extender, which uses your home's wiring to sneak your Wi-Fi signal past obstructions like walls, furniture, and concrete. We've got testing and reviews for all of that stuff on Cena, and you can check the links in this video's description for links to our best list for mesh routers and range extenders and more. Just remember that your home's internet plan sets the speed limit for your connection, so you shouldn't expect your router, or any router for that matter, to connect at speeds faster than what you're paying for. Still, even if your connection is limited by lackluster speeds, there's no reason you can't get the most out of it with the right hardware and a little bit of futzing. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, leave us a comment letting us know what Wi-Fi tricks have worked in your home to speed things up. And if you have any family members or friends who have slow Wi-Fi and ask you for help, just send them this video and uh, tell them to like and subscribe as well while you're at it.